In the last couple videos, we were converting back and forth between rectangular and polar coordinates, but we were doing that for individual points. Now I want to switch our attention to doing that for equations with the idea that we're looking for an equation in the other coordinate system that would give us the same graph. Okay. So I've got up here on the board this triangle that helps me to remember my conversion formulas. Let's just remind ourselves what those are. Since cosine of theta is x over r, I know that x is r cosine theta. A similar argument will give me that y is r sine theta. Pythagoras tells me that x squared plus y squared is r squared. And I can see, just using right triangle trigonometry, tangent of theta is y over x. All right, so these are the formulas I'm going to use as my tools to go back and forth. All right, so let's start with y equals x. That's an equation in rectangular coordinates. I know what the graph of that looks like. I know that the graph of that is just this line through the origin. Now, I might be able to, just looking at the graph, find a polar equation for that graph. Okay, Because I can see this is a line through the origin. I didn't draw it very well to scale. But it's making an angle of pi over 4 with the positive x-axis, which is our polar axis. So an equation in polar coordinates would be theta is pi over 4. You'll notice I said an equation is theta equals pi over 4, because theta equals pi over 4 would also be an equation for this. So we've got some flexibility in our polar coordinates. That does bring up an interesting point. Okay, So I could look at the origin here, and I could say r is 0, theta is pi over 4, so it's on the graph. But I could look at the origin, and I could say r is 0, theta could be pi over 2. That would not make this true. So the origin has more than one name. One name makes the equation true. Other names are going to make it false. It's still on the graph. The rule in polar coordinates is that if a point has a representation in polar coordinates that makes the equation true, it's on the graph. So if this point here was the point 1 comma pi over 4, theta is pi over 4, it's on the graph. I could view that point as being negative 1, 5 pi over 4, which would not make this equation true. But because it has a name that makes the equation true, it's on the graph. That's an issue that doesn't come up for us in rectangular coordinates, because in rectangular coordinates, all points have one name, curves have one equation. It can be written sometimes in different forms, but it's always equivalent algebraically. All right. So if I want to switch things to polar, I can say, well, y I know is r sine theta. That equals x, which is r cosine theta. <laughs> Very tempting to just divide out the r. Not legal. We can't divide by variable quantities unless we know that they're not 0. And I don't know that r is not 0. So just like when I'm solving equations, if I can't divide things to make them go away, I'm going to move everything over to one side instead. So I'll have r sine theta minus r cosine theta equals 0. And now, rather than dividing out the r, I'm going to factor it out. We get r times sine theta minus cosine theta is equal to 0, which means either r is 0 or sine theta minus cosine theta equals 0. Now this is kind of interesting, because if r is 0, the graph of that is just a single point. That would correspond to the origin. <laughs> Here, this would mean that sine of theta equals cosine theta. Algebraically, there are infinitely many solutions. Any angle whose sine and cosine are the same is going to make this true. So anything that's coterminal with either pi, pi over 4 or 5 pi over 4 would be an algebraic solution. If I'm trying to get this line, though, I could just pick one. I could pick theta equals pi over 4. So it looks like when we just did this graphically, we just got this option, theta equals pi over 4. Algebraically, we've got r is 0 or theta is pi over 4. But 
what I can do is say if theta is pi over 4, the point 0 comma pi over 4 makes that true. That would be the origin. So the one point that's given by this algebraic option is included on the graph of this. So I'm just going to make a note that the origin is on this graph. And what that means is that it's not necessary to write both options. You don't say, either I'm getting this line through the or a point on this line through the origin, or I'm getting the origin, because I already included that in saying that the line went through the origin. Okay. So very often this will happen, that you can factor and you'll get two options, but the geometric solution, the graph of one option, will be included on the graph of the other option, in which case you can just write that option. Okay, excellent. So an equation in polar coordinates for this line would be theta equals pi over 4. Excellent. We'll do more in a moment.